Hello and welcome to this class, Math 105, which is Mathematics for Management Sciences 1. Alright, this is our very first class, which is Lesson 1. And in Lesson 1, um, it's just a way of introduction. Uh, and in this class, we'll be looking at symbolic logic. Okay, um, this is the unit 1 of this class, which is symbolic logic what are symbolic logic and what are the what is the importance of symbolic logic um what is it used for all right to start with symbolic logic is a way of representing logical expressions by using symbols and variables in place of natural language such as english so um, symbolic logic is just a way of representing logical expressions, logical sentences, logical statements using symbols and variables instead of um, the normal natural language such as English or Yoruba or any other language. Okay, just as we already know that mass is a science of numbers, figures and symbols. Um, like algebra and in algebra we use uh, numbers we use letters to represent um, numbers symbols we use um, an algebraic statement to represent um, a normal natural statement but in symbolic logic we use um, we use symbols and variables to replace um, to um, we use symbols and variables in place of natural numbers right to express um, logical uh, statements or to represent logical expressions okay so symbols in this context now because we need to know what these symbols and variables are so in this context symbols refer to letters that are made to represent statements or proportions so letters that are used and um, sorry to represent statement or propositions so in this case letters are <clears throat> what we call symbols so what we call symbols in this context are letters that are used to represent um, statement or proposition so a statement or a proposition is a logical uh, in a logical context still in this logical context a statement is a declaration either verbal or written that is true or false but cannot be both right so a statement um, in this logical mind you that everything is in context Right, because you don't have to go and check the dictionary meaning of statement. We are we are narrowing it down to um, logical expressions. So in logical context, a statement is a declaration, whether verbal or written, that is true or false, but not both. So a statement is either true or false, right? Um, statements and propositions are used interchangeably so sometimes you would hear me say statement and some other times you hear me say um, proposition but they mean the same thing so let's look at examples of statement so the following are examples of statement number one Nigeria is an African country so this is a statement in this context Two, Japanese are hard-working people is also a statement because it can either be true or false. Three, she is tall and beautiful. Four, she is intelligent. All right. So these are all logical statements. Now, example, let letter P represent the statement she is tall and beautiful. And letter Q to represent the statement she is intelligent so that means P and Q right P and Q can be made to represent this statement while P represents she is tall and beautiful Q represents she is intelligent so <clears throat> logic is the science 
of reasoning or explaining events. In other words, it could still be defined as the study of analysis or the study and analysis of a mathematical proposition or statement so that we can use that to ascertain the truth value of the proposition or statement. Again, we said um, we, we've narrowed down um, what we mean by statement or proposition to logic as um, we narrowed it down to mean um, a declaration verbal or non-verbal or written that is either true or false. So we've had examples and then <clears throat> We now said logic is the study and analysis of mathematical statements so that we can ascertain their truth value, whether they are truth, whether they are true or not. Alright, so we study the statements and analyze them and then we bring out their truth value. So then it is important to know what truth value is, what are truth, what is a truth value was the truth value of a statement an example okay so let's define truth value so the truth value of a proposition is termed t if it is true and f if it is false so when you hear a statement the truth value tells us whether the statement is true or false so if it is true it is termed t if it is false it is termed F all right so here we have an example now given that 2 plus 3 equal to 4 obviously we know that this statement is not true so the truth value of this statement is false the truth value is false ie F because we know that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and not equal to 4 so the truth value of this statement is F all right so let's look at some other statements so that we can define their truth value we can ascertain their truth value number one Nigeria is an African country so this statement will be termed T because it is true it is true that Nigeria is an African country so it is termed T Japanese are hard working people so this one is down to our knowledge of Japanese if Japanese are hard working people we we term this statement as true which is T but if they are not we term it as as F right which is false three she is tall and beautiful depends on the person we are talking about if she is tall and beautiful that means it is the true statement of this is T if she is not tall and beautiful the true statement is F number four she is intelligent if she is intelligent the truth statement is termed and the truth value of this statement is t but if she is not intelligent the truth value is f all right so the following are not statement so let us differentiate from between statement and um, non-statement so the following are not statement in logical context number one who is she this is a question so a question is not a statement in logic because we cannot determine whether it is true or false it is a question number two what a lovely man this is an exclamation we cannot determine whether it is true or false so this is not a statement thirdly take the pencil this is a command so we cannot determine we cannot ascertain whether this is true or false it is not a statement it is not logical number four if i think of my family 
this is an incomplete statement so it is not a statement i love you is not a statement all right um because you cannot ascertain whether i love you or not all right so quickly who is she is a question so questions are not statement exclamations are not statement commands are not statement in logical context so questions exclamations and commands are not statement all right then so we have an example here the example says find the truth table of p and q now if the statement she is tall and beautiful is represented by p and the second statement she is intelligent is represented by q now here is what a truth value looks like or a truth table looks like now this is the truth table relating p and q um, this sign um, looks like an epsilon which is a greek word a greek letter sorry now combines two statements now if the statement p is true and q is true that means p and q is true all right so p and q is true if and only if both of them are true all right the combination of p and q is true if and only if p and q are all true so if p is true and q is false that means p and q is false so if and only if both of them are true their combination will be true but if only one is true as long as one is false their combination is false all right so these are some objectives that these are the objectives of symbolic um, logic reasoning so these are what we'll be looking at these are what we will be looking at in the course of um, this class number one um, logical reasoning could be used to ascertain or analyze complicated business argument so because this is a course in management science this is a course in management science all right uh, mathematics for management science so we look at the application in the business world so logical reasoning could be used to ascertain or analyze complicated business arguments secondly it could be used to decode equivalent negation or contradictory propositions or statement thirdly it could be used to analyze a statement so logical reasoning could be used to analyze a statement four it could be used to form composite statements from simple ones using logical connections it could be used to ascertain the truth value of a statement so in the course of our discussion of our lecture we are going to look at every aspect of logical reasoning and we could we will look at its application in all of this all right so let us continue so we have two types of statement basically we have two types of propositions and statement the first is a simple statement secondly is we have composite statements so all the statements we've looked at these are all these are simple statements because they make only one sense nigeria is an african country japanese are hard-working people she's tall and beautiful she is intelligent so these are passing one message all right passing one single information and it makes one single sense so it is called a simple statement whereas composite statements are used 
uh, um, composite statement is the use of connectives to combine two or more simple statement all right composite statement from the word composite composite means combining more two or more things together to make um to make a whole all right composite or compound composite bringing two or more things together example we have mr alakija is the hod and i am an undergraduate now we have two complete statements coming together um combined together using a connective a connective rather now in this case the connective is the word and right the word and combines the two statements together mr alakija is the hod is one statement i am an undergraduate is another statement but they are connected together with the word and right so to to make to make one sentence all right so this is an example of a composite statement secondly rose flower is red while violet is blue now this is another compound of sorry composite statement combined together using the word while because rose flower is red is one statement violet is blue another statement but they are combined together using the word while so the connective here is while third statement accra is in nigeria implies that 2 plus 5 is equal to 4. Again, here we have two statements. The first statement is Accra is in Nigeria. The second statement is 2 plus 5 is equal to 4. So they are brought together using the connective implies that. All right. So implies that is the connective that combines these two statements Accra is in Ghana and 2 plus 5 equal to 4. So these are examples of compound statements. All right. So thank you for listening. In the course of this discussion, we'll be looking at, remember, we'll be looking at all of this. These are the objectives we are going to achieve using um logic all right see you next class